It was eight long years. Just to be a better teacher, I did PhD. I must be one crazy teacher. <laughs> When I started teaching first, and my subject used to be launched for booking, I moved from two classes to eight classes. You know, the enrollment for my subject was like uh, four times the initial enrollment, and uh, students were just waiting into, to, to get into my class. And this was in my first year. Yeah, so that was when I saw that whatever I was doing, it was like a spark. Students were attracted to the method of teaching that I adopted. I managed to do all of that uh, in the first year and I still continue to do it today, 21 years later, yes. My teaching approach today has definitely evolved extensively. I think the essence of teaching still remains the same. So as a teacher, we want to shape the students and we want to reach out to them and we want to help them reach their goals. So that remains a constant, but of course the way we do it changes with the way that the students actually learn. We need to keep abreast with those changing technologies, methods of reaching our students. I think uh, one of the misconceptions is teaching is easy. If you can't do anything, you can always become a teacher. Teaching is actually a very difficult profession, it requires more dedication, technique, expertise. That misconception needs to be cleared because teaching is a calling actually. People think it's an easy job, it's not that easy. Um, I think as a teacher, I never faced burnout, surprising. The only time I almost uh, faced a burnout was teaching during the pandemic because I felt that I couldn't reach the students at all. You need to know how to use the technology, but more than that, you need to be able to reach out through the technology to the students. So I managed to do that. I was thinking because I'm not good with technology, I won't be a good teacher. Even through the pandemic, if you just teach with the purpose of saying that I care, I think you can achieve your objective of inspiring the students to learn. Uh, one is being human, uh, learning with a purpose so that you can live your life purposefully. And whenever you choose to do something, uh, you have to do it very professionally. So there has to be a lot of integrity, empathy, those kind of values I think I display as a teacher and I hope that students carry it forward in whatever profession they choose to pursue. In reality, for a person who teaches science, teaching science is difficult because science really develops very fast. I realized that sometimes I was not able to answer my students' questions. I realized that the knowledge I gained in the university was old, and the knowledge has evolved, it's progressed, the new techniques, the new instruments. So that's when I decided to do a PhD in neuroscience. It was a late career, and I just moved into this neuroscience aspect. It was eight long years. Just to be a better teacher, I did PhD. I must be one crazy teacher. <laughs> so that was my training. But I did all that so that I could be better in the classroom. Even though I'm teaching at the pre-university level, I need to project to the students, where will science take them? That's the impression that we have, that we just have to learn and repeat it but we have to rewrite that knowledge. And that's what I've tried to teach the students in the classroom when I did the neuroscience. And I know it's a very difficult way to prove myself as a teacher in class, 
but I think it was worthwhile because at the end, the students not only see themselves in my classroom learning science, but they also see themselves possibly in a profession in science. You know, so it's taking one step forward. And definitely, I can tell you one thing, with this kind of uh, objective in the classroom, the students go very far. Hey? Hello, this Ms. Is Josh. I'm uh, glad to have this opportunity to express how grateful I am to have you as my biology teacher back then. Thank you for always complimenting to our exhausting days with your enthusiasm. Thank you for being more than just a lecturer and always making biology a fun class. Hope you stay healthy and continue to spread your love. Bye. Oh, this is Camilla. She's a dentist. Camilia. Ah, uh, I guess it's been a while since I've done college at Taylor's and I have to say that I wouldn't be where I am today without you. You were always just such a darling to have in class and you were always so sweet to all your students and everyone that knows you. Thank you so much um, from everyone, from me, to you. Bye. Oh, Anne! Oh, she looks so Hi, pretty. Mrs. Kalpana. I'd like to take this opportunity <laughs> to thank you for being a great lecturer to me. It's not every day that we get to meet someone who's not only passionate about the work she does, but also care deeply for her students. I wouldn't be where I am today without your help and guidance. Keep in touch. Okay, they're all saying bye-bye to me. So it's time for me to go now. <laughs> That's nice. And looks so pretty, right? Okay, let me just like this, okay. Very touched. Uh, this is what I aspire to do as a teacher. Somewhere down the road, when they have achieved much in life, they still remember, and they take that year in college as a turning point. Uh, one of the steps that helped them to reach whatever success story they tell today so that itself, I think, is uh, so touching. Being a teacher is a very thankless task. The students, when they acknowledge you, that is the greatest reward. And I've got it, so that's my greatest achievement. My past students, of course, I've already taught them, so they've less learned their lessons, and then, of course, they gave me these wonderful messages which uh, indicate that the lessons that they learn, they remember. Uh, you know, it's like a, a chain reaction. They are transferring it to their colleagues or maybe their students. That itself, I'm happy they're still doing that. You know, remembering me, remembering my lessons, uh, including those values and uh, uh, those experiences in their lives and taking it forward. Most of the teachers here are uh, extremely dedicated to the welfare of the students and it's a pre-university so it's a turning point in life where we try to give the students the knowledge, the skills, the attitude to succeed. Whatever I try to teach is very basic. It's just being human, just being a good human being, playing your part in this uh, stage, which is the world, and playing it well. Playing it to make a difference in everyone else's life, and eventually it will touch yours. I'm Dr. Kalpna Das. I teach biology at the South Australian Matriculation Program at Taylor's College. Uh -huh.